good parent how many of us ask this question i am a parent and i keep asking this question all the time now if we have to ask our parents our grandparents and generations before did, did they ask this question i'm sure the number of yeses would be considerably low why is it why is it a question that we keep asking ourselves today that our parents our grandparents and generations before did not ask what has changed over time what impact did this question and our desperation to be good parents has in our children and in turn in our society let me show you some statistics what we can see in this slide is how our kids are performing extremely well in the competitive examination and as you can see the number of kids who are getting more than 90 and 95 percentage has almost jumped by 90 percent over years but on the contrary when you see the report that is published by the national mental health survey what it says is 15 percentage of adults need active intervention for not just one or even more than one mental health issue and one in every 20 indians suffer from depression and what is even pressing is 87 percentage of millennials are affected by some level of stress when it comes to relationships 10 out of every 1000 marriages end up in divorce let's move on to the economy as you can see we are consistently increasing with respect to our gdp and annual growth rate but what we can see here on the contrary is how did we decline in our rank with respect to happiness index and over years how the suicide rates in the country have been tripled in the past 40 years you must be wondering the relevance between increase in the number of top scorers and increase in the depression suicide and divorces the relationship between gdp growth rate per capita income happiness index mental health and well being and relationship and what if i tell you one of the critical thread which connects all of these dots is parenting the child that we grow in our home is not only going to lead an independent life in the future but also going to represent an element in the society hence parenting has got far more impact than what we think today's definition of good parenting is uh, giving everything that the child want do the best for the child put them in the best school let them go to the best dance class best arts class best sports class and whatever possible so that success in their life become inevitable as a result today's children has got the maximum exposure thanks to technology they know that failure is not an option they are twice as smarter than us when we were in their age they know that they need to make most of every single minute that they have got in their life they know that they need to continuously perform starting from the kindergarten moving on to every class be it the tuition classes be it the special classes be it when they are preparing for the college entrance examinations getting on to the good college continuously performing and getting a and a plus grades sit for the placements get into the highest paying job get on the corporate ladder continuously perform very well get into the leadership roles get married have a work life balance get into the societal status oof today's generation we put into this race much much earlier than we were asked to run it the societal pressure that we have as parents to be financially stable and to be successful in life gets translated into our children being the best of the best of the best and not really knowing what is their version of being the best which is why they keep asking this question am i a good parent but the irony in this question is the success of the question does not necessarily gets translated to be the success of the outcome what do i mean by that the time effort and money that we put in to be the good parents does not necessarily gets translated into our children becoming successful i know it's very hard to digest let me tell you a small story there were two gardeners sharma ji and varma ji both of them went to the market they both got small coconut chapli sharma ji came back to his garden he planted this small coconut chapli and he used to water it every alternate day and take out the weed whenever it was required on the contrary varma ji planted this coconut chapli and he took really good care of it 
He used to water the plant every day in the morning as well as in the evening. He used to take out the weed every single day and he protected the plant so much. Over time, both the coconut trees had started growing taller. One fine day, there was a cyclone and in the night there were heavy rain. The next day morning, Varmaji only woke up to see that his coconut tree was uprooted. In August, he went to Sharmaji and he saw in his garden the coconut tree standing tall. He was all the more disappointed. He went and asked Sharmaji that remember I did so much for my coconut tree and probably you did not do so much for it but I see your coconut tree standing tall. And what Sharmaji said was very profound. He said that because you took care of your plant so much and you watered it every single day in the morning and in the evening, your plant was in never search of water and it never developed strong roots. And on the contrary, I watered the plant whenever it was required so that it was always in the constant search of water and it developed strong roots that it was able to stand in the middle of the cyclone. Now, a good gardener is not someone that he did everything the best and at the end the plant died. A good gardener is someone he did what the plant required so that the plant can do the best, be the best and become the best. And this is exactly how parenting works. Parenting is an art. It's a journey. And remember, we are all as old as our kids as parents. We were all born as parents on the day when our kids were born. So it is not really a competition or a test to continuously prove ourselves that how good are we as parents. Parenting is not about telling everything that the kid needs to do, give them the bucket list of what they're supposed to do and give them everything so that they fulfill it. It's about creating an enabling environment for the kid so that the kid can has its own journey to know the best version of being themselves. Am I saying that please don't take care of your kids, don't support them, let them screw up their grades, let them fail in their life, all of this is not important? Hell no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, do what is required for the kids. Don't overdo it. Because remember, they are smarter than us. They are far, far, far more capable than us. They have high learning agility, high emotional intelligence and enormous potential to become the best version of themselves and not the best version of what we want them to become. Telling a kid what to do in life is going to kill their curiosity, their personality, and their confidence. Let me just give you an example. When we were all our kids, our parents hardly knew what projects we were working, how are we studying, and what grades we got till the time we took the progress report to them. On the contrary, today, we all spend enormous time in doing projects for our kids because we want to decide what grades they should get starting from kindergarten. We want to decide where they should study. We want to decide what they should be learning. We want to decide what they should be doing in every single of their minute in life. And as a result, when we were not there to decide for them, they are not in a position to share with us and what's happening in their life. They start collapsing. They start getting into depression. They are not able to manage the relationships. They are not able to strike a work-life balance. And life becomes stale irrespective of every success that they have got in their life. As parents, we need to tell them how to lead their life. How to manage relationships. How to handle difficult situations. How we need to help them understand things in their life. How to get educated. How to develop resilience in life. How to be competitive and compassionate. How to be successful and still to be humble. Rather, we focus on giving them the bucket list of everything that we want them to do and give them what they are required to achieve that and as a result, their life ends up in just achieving what we want them to do. Which is why they are extremely good in delivering under pressure but they don't know how to be happy, peaceful and contented. They can fight against thousands of students in a competitive examination but they are not able to fight against their own failures. Friends, as I see my daughter today, I know I have a choice. I have a choice to populate her life with a list of everything that I want her to do and give her everything so that she can achieve it. Or I have a choice to create an enabling environment for her to support her where it is required so that I am able to create 
the best version of what I could create out of her. Friends, we all have the choice. The choice to create a strong society, a society with not just good IQ, but a great EQ. A society with not just raising GDP, raising per capita income, but also decreased depression rates, suicides and divorces. The choice is ours. Next time, when we ask this question, am I a good parent? Remember, we do have the choice. The choice to be a good parent or the choice to create a great child. Thank you.